Hey everyone, Scoop Scientist here. So recently I was on eBay looking at some silver jewelry. Um, I placed a bid on it and actually won. So I've bought all of this here uh, for about $35 uh, Australian. Now I actually haven't opened these yet so I haven't worked out if I've been ripped off or not. Um, I decided I'd do that on camera just so you guys can see. Um, but then what I want to do to make sure it is actually some silver jewelry, um, I've got here a little setup where I can measure the density of it um, just to confirm whether or not it is silver. I would imagine this stuff is sterling silver though, uh, which is usually about 92.5% silver and the rest some other metals. Uh, I'm going to make an assumption though and say that it is copper, that the other remaining percentage of the metal is copper. But let's uh, open these up here and have a look at them. So, yeah, these arrived just today, so I'm picking them up. I just, yeah, just picked them up before. Yeah, look at that. Now, sometimes they have markings, um, you know, to confirm whether or not it is. You know, sterling silver. This doesn't appear. Oh, actually, no, it does. Yeah, this has a 925 on it, which would indicate that's 92.5% silver. So already I believe this is silver, but I will still uh, measure the density. But let's open up the rest. So we've got another little ring here. Oh, this one has some kind of blue stone on it, as you can see there. I'll look for some markings. Okay, this also has a 925. It also has something else over here. It looks like an AN. I'm not too sure what that is. AN. I'll do some research on that, and uh, if I do find an answer, you'll see it on the screen now. But um, otherwise, let me know if you know what that is. AN. Let's open up the next one here. Yeah, I gotta say I'm not quite a fan of actually how these rings look. They, yeah, <laughs> especially this one. This one's not my favorite, but I don't know whether or not there's gonna be a marking on here. And this one actually, I am led to believe this one is not silver. It doesn't actually look like it. Um, there's no markings on that. Yeah, I'm not actually sure what this one is. It just, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm no expert, but based off of the look of these ones here, this one does not, it just doesn't, it, it, it looks almost like it's, um, some kind of steel or or iron, some something like that. Anyway, it's the next one. Oh, look at this! Hey, some more little gems in there. Uh, I don't know what they are at all. Perhaps they're just glass, because um, I would doubt. You know, I found seven little diamonds there. But we do have a little 925 written on there, so I know that is, in fact, sterling silver. And finally, the last one here, let's have a look at it. Okay, let's see. And again, we do have a 925 on there. So that is also silver. Brilliant. So that's what I got. This one here I'm a little, little concerned about. Don't know if that's actually silver. But either way, four little bits of jewelry there. All right, so this is kind of what I'm working with here. So I've got the uh, the known densities of sterling silver there and just silver. 
uh, you'll notice that the sterling silver's density is, is actually uh, less. That's just because copper, uh, the density of that's uh, eight point something. I forget exactly what it is, but uh, so adding something less dense to the silver will actually bring that density down. So that's why it's like that. Um, and yeah, this also, this number here is also assuming that it is 92.5% silver and the remaining 7.5% is the copper. So I'm looking for that number with this kind of jewelry here. And I might actually test um, this one here that's uh, confusing me a little bit to see if I get anywhere close to any of these numbers. Um, but anyway, the equation is very simple. So density is equal to mass divided by volume. So the first step, uh, what I can do here is let's turn on this little uh, thing that I got here. And so let me just chuck that on there. So I got 0 0.77, it looks like it, so. 0 0.77, so that's the mass there, 0 0.77, and that is in grams, because I want to go grams per cubic centimeter, so that's grams. Now all I need to do is figure out the volume, and that is done with this. Let me fill this up with water. And the reason why I fill this up with water is because I'm using the water displacement method to measure the volume, because um, it's if this was a cube, I could just easily calculate the volume without doing anything. Um, but because of the irregular shape here, it's nearly impossible to calculate the, the uh, volume just by measuring each part. So you use water because one gram of water is one centimeter cubed. And because I'm measuring here in grams, whatever this says, that will give me the volume in cubic centimeters, which is very, very handy. So I've got this here. Now this scale has been known to play up a little bit. Um, I guess that's what I get for buying a cheap scale, but let's give this a test. So I'll turn this on. Okay, we're all zeroed out there. If I chuck that there. 0.73, it looks like we got. Oh, and you can see the scale there is just dropping drastically. Yeah. Don't buy cheap scales, they uh, don't serve you well. But anyway, I got 0 0.73, 0 0.73, brilliant. So now all that's left to do is divide that by that. But if you're somewhat decent at math, you will know this equals around one, like 1 1.0 something. Uh, so there's no need for me to really calculate that. All right, new setup. I realized one thing. I was using this, I was essentially just measuring the weight of this silver again. You can't actually have it touch the sides or the bottom of the container at all. So you've got to have it kind of floating there. So I just got this string here, which is uh, hanging in the water, which I can then loop this around. So I've already got the weight of this. This one here is um, 0.77 grams. So now if I were to then we're right point one one. Looks like we're settled there. Cool. Um, so now if I come back over here. Uh, 0.77 divided by 0.11, what I should get, okay, I got seven. So because I'm not too sure what that one is, that could make sense to what it actually is. So what I'm gonna do is, I know this one here for sure is sterling silver. Uh, I've already measured the weight of this one. This is 1.29 grams. So let's hang it up on the string there, get that volume. All right, so let's get, oh, dropped all the way through. It's now just measuring the weight. That's not what I want. Point 0.15. All right, let's do the math. 1.29 divided by 0.15. 
8.6, okay, so we're a little bit closer. A little bit closer. That's more actually the density of copper there. I think it actually was like uh, 8.9. So a couple reasons why these numbers are like this. Um, this one here though, uh, I'm still believing is not actually silver. Um, this one here, from the markings and from the higher reading, definitely uh, is silver. But yeah, the reason why I think the numbers are kind of varying quite uh, drastically um, and are not actually as close is because of my scales. They're just not that accurate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to measure this again from the top. So let's get that off. They're actually settling on 1.21 there for a bit. So originally I had 1.29, so let's try that. 1 1.21. 0.15 again, looks like we've got the same number. 0.15 again, so 1.21 divide 0.15. And we get here actually less yeah and we get actually less there so that now equals 8.07 there yep my numbers don't quite match up with any of these there uh what i'm going to go and do is actually purchase a uh, better scale one that's uh, more accurate and that doesn't uh, start decreasing down to zero once you have something on there for a bit uh, that should hopefully get me some better numbers next time. Um, but this video for now is more like a uh, proof of concept, I suppose. It's like um, just showing how you can actually measure uh, the density of an object. Um, but what I have planned for these uh, bits of silver, though, um, is I want to uh, melt them down maybe. Uh, well, actually, um, before melting, I would like to remove all the other metals from them. Uh, so I'll take out all these like jewels as well and then dissolve it in some nitric acid and then uh, purify it just so I can get myself a nice little um, chunk of pure silver there. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video. Hopefully you learned something at least. Uh, I know I did. Don't buy cheap scales. So yeah, all I got to do now is get my hands on some nitric acid and I can attempt to purify some of these rings, some of this jewelry. But anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this one.